The Vivo V9, mid-range device from Vivo that has undergone a lot of changes from the previous generation of Vivo devices. Yes, 24 megapixel front facing shooter, 90-9 aspect ratio screen and uh, the dual camera setup, the front notch and everything, lot of changes have been undergone from the previous generation of Vivo to this. The Vivo V9 as known as the IPL smartphone <laughs> that's currently going on here and uh, in this video let's see the unboxing and my quick impressions on the Vivo V9 so without any further delay let's get into the video and before getting into the video in case this is your first time visit to the channel make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and it means a lot to us and in case if you end up liking this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button below so without any further delay let's dive into the video itself Moving on to the internal specs, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, a dedicated SD card up to 256GB, 6.3 inch full HD display and 19-9 aspect ratio, Qualcomm Snapdragon 626 chipset, a 24MP front facing shooter and a 16MP and 5MP dual rear shooter, a 3260mAh power battery. So let's quickly go for the unboxing. This is the box case that I have with the Vivo V9 device. So turning to the back you get all the main specs that is being printed outside and the rate here mentioned is 23,990 but it is being available in India for 22,990 Okay opening the device So normal regular paperwork let's keep them aside The mobile device itself let's also keep this aside Moving on to the power brick, so this is the power brick and uh, input 5 volts at 2 amps and it's a quick charger. You get an Apple clone earphones I should say, yes, that's Vivo printing. A micro USB cable, so you get a dedicated uh, silicon case with this uh, box. And uh, the SIM ejecta pin as well as the SAR value, warranty cards and the regular paper box. Let's all keep them aside and just quickly dive into the device itself. Here is the device and uh, let me just peel the car off. So this is the mobile phone itself, you get it in two colors, the pearl black and the gold one. And this is the pearl black one as you can see completely fingerprint magnet at the back the design quality is good very shiny and glossy in front of light but they are plastic and at the back you'll be having a dual camera setup followed by the flashlight and the fingerprint sensor and the vivo logo at the bottom the 3.5 mm jack and uh, the charging port as well as the microphone right volume rockers and the home key and left you'll be having the sim card ejector tray the position of the fingerprint sensor at the back is not too high or not too low i think mostly anyone can reach the fingerprint sensor in case it is not possible you can use the face reader or the face unlock so guys here's the device after completing all the booting up process and uh, added my fingerprint uh, on this device itself so let's it's time to check the fingerprint uh, capability of this device i have just tried 10 out of 10 times it has been worked perfectly so yeah it's really quick and really fast and responsive as you see so for the first time when you hold this device in your hand you just get to know this as if you are holding an iPhone 10 because 
the top notch the display and mostly most of the gestures as you see here and these make you remember of iPhone 10 speaking of the display quality the display is just top notch and uh, swiping from uh, bottom to top you just get all the recent uh, apps so we just go for the settings to check the about phone uh, section of this device as you guys, as you guys know that uh, vivo is being powered up with fun touch os and the current android version running in this device is android 8.1 which is android oreo the latest android is being installed uh, that comes out from the box itself guys and uh, speaking about the screen it's a full hd plus screen with uh, a top notch and a 19 is to 9 uh, display ratio so moving on to the camera where uh, many of you people will be just having a keen eye on it yes this is being powered up with uh, 16 megapixel and 5 megapixel race facing shooter so that you can take all those portrait and bokeh effects with this device. So 24 megapixel front facing shooter and I didn't face any issues with the front facing shooter. It's completely perfect in all conditions as well as both the indoor and the outdoor lighting conditions. So moving on to the rear facing shooter, let me just take a quick snap, yeah the shutter speed is uh, good and pretty responsive. moving on for the gaming of this device so with a 6.3 inch uh, mobile you, you just get a perfect gaming experience that too full screen without any uh, hinges at the ends completely all the display is being covered up with uh, the gaming screen except the bottom of the device the gaming experience is really smooth and uh, snapdragon 626 chip chipset so i don't think so this device is gonna hit and uh, but I haven't used this device for a very pretty long time since I have to return this device very shortly. So I didn't play any games rather than this the two for around 5 to 10 minutes. Moving on to the video viewing angles in this device. So the video quality is tremendous. You get this option to full screen uh, the video that you play. And uh, the two watching 4K videos in this device is never an hindrance to the user. Straight to straight viewing angles are okay, but the side viewing angles are not so good. So you, you just at times you just get a black screen on the device. My overall impressions on this device is good till now. Design quality is superb with a bezel-less display and a notch at the top, which is also trending right now. Camera quality is top notch and uh, the two face the front facing shooter is tremendous ram management is pretty poor and out of 4 gb the user tends to get around 1.5 gb of ram and uh, all complete uh, pros and cons would be coming in my upcoming videos and for that just be stay tuned to my channel so that's it for this quick unboxing guys give this video a thumbs up if you really liked it and uh, stay tuned and keep updated until i catch up on my next video thank you guys